Welcome to another exciting instalment of Tuning with Will and Julia. That's Julia's leg. This is my friend, Weeping Willow. I sometimes come here to cry. Obviously. Weeping, isn't it? Weeping Will. And then sometimes come here to spread a bit of joy with it. Watch our little duck friend. And this is at the Abbey, Glastonbury Abbey, and this is the pond. Quite, quite tranquil. That's me. Tranquil, not tran, not trans. There's nothing wrong with that. No judgment. I'm here for men, women, and everything else in between. My question is always, do you meditate? Do you? Do you really know yourself? I ask that question because that's what I'm trying to figure out. Who am I? What am I? And what does it all mean? And It's nice to remember that you've always got choice. You can choose in any moment how you feel about anything. And that includes about you. And I've gone through loads of days where I think I'm a complete twat. And there's no point. And I'm sure a lot of you have as well. But knowing that it's a choice to think that way means I could in that moment also choose to think something else like I'm not that much of a twat actually there's people who are definitely more twatty than me and there's always a reason not an excuse there's a reason for it and recently I've really been looking into trauma childhood trauma and also adult trauma relationships and how devastating that can be and what everybody really wants is just to be heard understood So how do we do it? Okay, practical application. Meditation is key. That doesn't mean you have to go and sit on a bed of nails or walk through fire or anything like that. It's just sitting, closing your eyes, focusing on your breath. Just in and out. And that's it. It's the art of doing fuck all. You only need to do a few minutes, five minutes, build it up, 10, 15. Just go within or you go without. The question I have to ask myself is, would that be enough to start with? I know people might think, oh, what's the point? Well, you kind of have to do it to know what the point is, but <clears throat> if every day you've got music on, you've got people talking, you've got inner chatter in your head, then how do you know what is you? How do you know what's truth? If you're constantly playing, re-listening to, reliving these programs, how do you know what, what's true? I just think it's necessary that you go within. You can do it whilst walking too. But I would call that more gratitude. Walking meditation is more just appreciation for everything that there is. And being focused on the gift that is the present. Visiting sacred sites I think helps too. And to wonder about how much has happened before. And the enlightenment maybe people found here and that we too can be a part of that and that's such a beautiful thing life is a mystery and we are 
all magi the I magi nation nation of magicians what does that mean magic isn't just wearing about eyeliner and wearing capes but well, you're doing it all the time have you noticed that the way that you feel then brings to you situations that amplify that that's magic but it's no need for a hat unless you want to wear a hat no judgment wear a hat if you want I wonder as I wonder and ponder as I potter and bumble around just trying to be oh, thanks for joining me on this little trip mm. Bomb.